everyone, I'm Alex Noonan. I'm a developer advocate here at Daxter Labs. And today I'm gonna to be talking about one of my favorite integrations and coincidentally, one of our most popular ones, the Daxter DBT integration. So why should you use Daxter to deploy a DBT project? Well, for one thing, Daxter is at the heart of your data platform and DBT is everybody's favorite transformation tool. And being able to monitor and manage the state of your platform all in one place simplifies your job as a platform developer. Both tools also take an asset centric approach and when used together, you get this situation where the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Also, DBT doesn't occur in a vacuum. You have ingestion pipelines and downstream data consumption. Being able to monitor all of those things in one place is one area where Daxter really shines. Deploying DBT in Daxter also allows you to run DBT core with minimal configuration and adjustment and you get all the benefits of Dagster while minimizing vendor lock-in and running your DBD project in a cost-effective manner. Dagster also provides rich metadata for your DBT assets, showcasing their state, the SQL behind the model, run history, quality and asset checks, and related upstream and downstream assets. With Dagster Plus, you get access to additional features, further simplifying your job as a data platform owner and developer, so you can focus on delivering value and getting the most out of your data. The catalog makes it easy to index and discover your DBT models in an intuitive way. This is critical for organizations with thousands of DBT assets, where it's challenging for new and non-technical stakeholders to make sense of your data model and how everything fits together. Branch deployments make it simple to test whether your DBT models are ready with production data before you merge your changes into the master Dagster branch. We wanted the integration to be as lightweight as possible. So all you need to do is put your DBT project inside your Dagster root directory, and then you can use the Dagster DBT project scaffold command to create the Dagster project around it. From there, just configure your DBT resource, define your DBT assets, and you're ready to go. DBT model checks come through the Daxter UI as asset checks. Mapping dependencies, both upstream and downstream, is simple with Daxter asset keys. Incremental models and partitions work together to be precise with your updates and backfills. If you want to learn more, I would encourage you to check out our documentation, which has the most up-to-date version of the Daxter APIs. If you're new to Daxter, you should check out our course on Daxter University, and specifically the DBT course, which takes you through step-by-step -step in setting up a Dagster project with DBT and goes over core concepts and code patterns so you can be most effective with this integration. Additionally, you should follow us on all of our social medias and join our beloved Slack community where we can answer any questions you have and help you along your journey. Thank you.